All right, so I'm in a slideshow. I'm going to get rid of themes. And I am going to start out with not a title slide. I'm going to go over to the slide sorter, or where I can add new slides, click on the arrow, and I'm going to choose a blank slide. And on this blank slide, slide number two, I'm going to paste in the image. So this is um, an image of your graph, and as you said, it moves around. So there's a few different ways that you can handle working with this. One is I'm going to delete this image, and I'm going to go to my blank slide, and I'm going to right click, which is um, allowing me to find change background. When I change my background, I have the option to choose an image. And so I am going to choose an image that is on my computer. It's just the screenshot that I saved of the graph. And I'm going to open it up. And now it is on the background of my screen. So that's one way that you can handle this. Now students can then use the writing tools. They could also add text like this. And then they can type in answers that they need for the function. Um, there's another way to do this that might um, allow you to kind of set it up a little bit so it's easier for students to type in the answers. Also, I find that sometimes my students change the background and they make it different colors and then you lose the image. So what I'm going to do next is I am actually going to go into slide and edit master. And this allows me to kind of edit each of the different layouts that are available in my slides. And so what I like to do is I'm going to go down to the blank slide down at the very bottom. And you can see it's titled blank when I click on it. And I'm going to paste in that image, which is too big, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. So it fits on the page. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to make it fit how I want it. And um, now what I'm going to do is I want students to be able to type in answers here. And so I'm going to go over to the text box, but I'm going to click on the little arrow to the right of the text box. And here I can add in text that would just be on the master, which basically is going to be like the template in the background, unmovable. So I could have instructions. I could type in if I want to change this up on different slides. I can make it have a white background, but then type in a different number um, if I wanted to do something like that. But if I go back up and click on the arrow, I can have body text placeholders or subtitle placeholders um, or titles. So that's when you're on a normal slide and you can like you see that like box that you can type in your answer into, but then it disappears when you're projecting if you leave it blank. So I might choose a subtitle placeholder here because it's just going to be a number. And here it says click to edit master subtitle style. I'm going to leave that. And it has a bunch of text, but I'm going to copy that box, that blue box, and then paste it. And I'm going to put it into the next one and into the next one. And so I'm going to make this go into each of the boxes. And it gets hard to see because it's all, all the text is like overlapping over each other. But I now have boxes for subtitles on each of the boxes where students would type in a number. And this is my bottom slide. It was blank. I'm going to rename this. And I might call this like function graph, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And maybe this one is just f of x, I think. And I'd say OK. Now, if I had a different one, um, I didn't look at all of your graphs very in detail. But I could copy this. So I could right click and say duplicate layout. And maybe this one I change. And I put a text box over on top, but this is an actual text box, not a placeholder. And I make this one white in the background, but then I type like f of x plus 1. And then I can go up and rename this to f of x plus 1. And say OK. 
Now, I have these here in my master. I'm going to click on the X to get out of this. And now when I want to add a new slide, I am going to um, go on the little arrow on the right to add a new slide. And I could add the F of X. I could add a new slide that's F of X plus 1. And when I'm in these, I can choose to type in my answer. So F of 4. I don't remember my math. I'm thinking I just add these. Um, but I could add, type in the number, and then I can, students can go in and graph them. And you'll notice that it gives them a place just to type in whatever their numbers are. And so this might be something that you might want to use to make it a little easier for you and students if they go to change the background now to a different color, it's not changing the actual um, slides because this is part of the master. Okay, so slide edit master is where you're going to go in to edit all of those.